good about what you do and be a hero every day with an innovative industry leader in roadside assistance and accident management. Help us provide world-class customer service with competitive wages, strong benefits, and a diverse, supportive environment with a 98% job satisfaction rating. Ajero is now hiring. Call 520-770-4700 to find out more. Move forward with us. Ajero. In this week's Hollywood Happenings, we start with Heaven is for Real, a real success at the box office. Plus, uh, Jim Ferguson talks with the director and the child star about a really funny ritual they had before each scene. Well, good morning, Amanda and Sally. Our Hollywood happening today indicates that the true story drama, Heaven is for Real, is still going strong at the box office, ranking third this week with a gross of $21.5 million. Directed by Randall Wallace, it stars six-year-old Connor Corum as Colton Burpo, who tells the story of his journey to heaven and back. Here's director Randall Wallace and young Connor Corum. Uh, casting so important with Greg and Thomas and uh, Kelly uh, and this young man. Yeah, if Connor, if we, if we hadn't found Connor, then then we were stuck. We didn't tell you that because we thought you would want money. But <laughs> <laughs> Connor, was he nice to you, Mr. Wallace, on the set? Mm, no. no, he threw me in the garbage can. After he threw every in the chase, garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> That was our favorite thing I, to do. I read that his favorite scene, is this true, Connor, was when you throw, come back from vacation and you throw up? Mm -hmm. and that was your favorite scene? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. He couldn't wait to do it. He couldn't wait. There are a couple of scenes when he sings that are surprises, but, but uh, that was my favorite scene when you sang. But you the like spider. <laughs> Mommy? Yes, Colton? Did you know I have a sister? You didn't know that Cassie's your sister? No, I have two sisters. You had a baby die in your tummy, didn't you? Honey, who told you I had a baby die in my tummy? In heaven, this little girl came up to me. She told me she died in your tummy. With a wonderful supporting cast of Greg Kinnear and Kelly Riley as Colton Burple's parents, this PG-rated heartfelt story, which you may doubt, is uplifting and leads to some good discussion. An exciting sports drama still going strong at the box office is Draft Day, ranking fifth this week, grossing 19.5 million. Not bad. Of course, star powers like Kevin Costner and Jennifer Gardner don't hurt. Draft Day also features a couple of good young actors, Tom Welling and Josh Pence, as quarterbacks with a much different agenda. Uh, have either of you ever been to a Draft Day? I went to the. Yeah. I mean, we shot live at the draft. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So the, the the arrival footage of Bo and a couple of the guys getting out of the car, we shot live, and then you know with Goodell up on stage, Roger Goodell, and all of that was was shot live. Yeah. It was. It's in quite fact, a production, isn't it? It was pretty wild. That was the first. I think that was the first of principal photography. It was the first scene that I, that I shot, and I and I remember Ivan pulling me aside, and he's like, "So you're going to get out of the car, and you're going to walk the carpet, you know?" And I get out of the car, and it's like tons of people lining outside Radio City Music Hall, a real ESPN reporter on the carpet. Waiting you know, for the real... Yeah. Waiting for the real carpet, yeah. And, and then this the guy comes over the loudspeaker and goes, and now announcing on the red carpet, Heisman winner from Wisconsin 2014, Bo Callahan. And people were a little that, that's funny, confused, yeah. you know, signing autographs. Tom, you play uh, Drew, yeah. uh, who is the returning quarterback who was mm -hmm. injured, and... Um, wants a, a second chance to prove that he can really do it. Yeah. Of course, you're the the uh, the Tebow or the mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. hot new uh, commodity uh, mm -hmm. coming. So you don't like each other, I would think. Well, it's it, interesting it's, that you say that. And people say that um, we, our characters don't interact in the film. But what happens because of the, what our characters go through, the audience ends up having very strong feelings toward our characters. Towards mm -hmm. each one of you. Yeah. 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 And yeah. at no point... Do, do you know? Does my character say anything bad about yours, or yeah. vice versa? <laughs> but what Kevin and what um, Ivan have been able to do is create that emotionality between the characters, which without ever is, having interacted yeah. amongst each other. I love having the number one pick. Oh, I hope that you would. Cleveland Browns are now on the clock. It's go time, boys. Go, bro. Who are you gonna take? What's happening? Who are you picking? Who 
I need five minutes, and then you can fire me. I got Tom Michaels on the line. Sonny, are we trading? I quit, Sonny. Don't quit. See what I do for you. You don't like this. The world is in shock. What exactly did the Cleveland Browns, Sonny Weaver Jr., is cooking up here? You're not going to believe this happening. You make this deal right now. Say it with me. Okay, screw it. No more offense. Well, as I said, when draft day first opened, although it's a story about professional football, it's character driven and an outstanding love story. It's rated PG-13. I gave it a solid A. Also opening today, the romantic comedy The Other Women starring Cameron Diaz and the horror film The Quiet Ones and Paul Walker's final film, the crime drama Brick Mansion. I'm going to see you right here next Tuesday on The Morning Blend.